Duet. I'm Max. I'm bold. Yes. Max, how did you decide to found Jazz Nos Fundos? Um, well, I had a. Uh, it's a long story. You, are you up for it? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I used to live here. This is this this place was to be my house when I rented it out. It was completely abandoned. Um, I I'm an artist, so I lived here for like three or four years, and then um, I was a journalist, I'm freelance. I was going in and out. Uh, in one of my trips, I was in um, in Spain visiting my mom, and my brother took me to. You, you have to come to this place. You have to come to this place. I said, oh, okay, let's go. So it's my friends playing some jazz. So, okay, let's go. So he took me to this place, which I, is, is a kind of an. Uh, um, a house for the old, where they played domino and the all day and all that, and they had this salary at the bottom, and the kids from the, the from the you know, started playing this jazz band. So I, I went in there. It was at the back, and it's all hidden. And I, I, while I was looking at the show, I was saying, I, I, I should be doing a jazz club urgently in my place. I had tried it out in Barcelona for a day and it didn't work. I had a I had a little garage there, and it didn't work out because I had a neighbor that was you know, he didn't like it. <laughs> he got the cops in. So basically, as I tried it here, when I come to some friends, I'm, I'm going to do a party in here. I was like, yeah, oh, excellent place. Let's do a party. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So what are you going to do? It's going to be a summer. No, no, it's going to be jazz. Jazz? You have to be kidding me. Nobody comes to see jazz here. You know? So that's how I started. I just started like, I mean, basically, I came with the inspiration from a place my brother took me in Spain. I came here. And I said, I, I really have to get this running. I really liked it. I'm always into, I've always been into jazz. I mean, it's something... Well, I love your place. I'm going to post a lot of pictures and video about the club. But when I first drove by on the first day in Sao Paulo, uh, I told my friend Fernando, uh, this is not a jazz club. It's a parking lot. So <laughs> what? What? T describe the experience for those who see the pictures well, of how you uh, enter the club. Yeah. Well, you basically walk down the street now it has a number at the entrance it didn't even have the number at the beginning like for the last four years it hasn't had the number just in the last year they put the number in the street uh, for, for the parking lot not even for us they don't have a name in the street don't have anything the experience basically is um, is the music we've been trying to, to make a, a great focus as you've seen the club is lo very low lights except the, sta the stage where the musicians are which is white light they are the center of the, of the house how do you choose the artists that are on? Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not 100% into this. There's a person that helps me out a lot. Right. Um, we have tried to make a combination of uh, fun instrumental music and some mental instrumental music. Because mm -hmm. only the mental, it wouldn't work. Because Brazilians, Brazilians like to party, they like to talk. They won't shut up in a show. <laughs> you won't make them, you won't... You won't get them to, you know, like, pay total attention is a very complicated issue. So we, we've been trying to make a combination of some days a Cuban, some days some day we have very Brazilian, some days we have real jazz, some days we have a mix of everything. We get foreigners, we try to get a lot of foreigners in, which is, uh, is one of the main um, goals of us. Yes. We've been trying very, very, um, without, with, with, I mean, with... Um, with a lot of effort and little money, we've been trying to bring in as much foreigners as we can, as we could, because we're, um, we've been trying to, you know, there's a player coming with a singer, whatever, but he's, you know, we get the band to right. get them to play here, and the singer can go and do her show, and when they finish, they come around here and they play. We've been trying to motivate musicians to know that we are into instrumental music and that we actually try to move it and shake it in town. Yeah. And I think we've managed in a way. Well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you about Shogo, and you've been a pioneer in live streaming. Why does live streaming appeal to you as an impresario and a presenter of music? Why? Well, we had we had some customers here that are from Cultura TV, which is a which is a national TV um, uh, national TV, and um, they they came along here all the time and speaking with them, and we were saying we should get this for free in the internet and the internet. Da -da -da. And I really wanted the idea. I, I really thought that the idea was fine. I mean, as long as we could pay for it or we could manage it, I thought it was excellent mm -hmm. to make to, to get the word out. Because for me, since I, I'm not a Brazilian, so when I arrived in Brazil, my passion was Baden Powell. My passion was I don't know Chico Buarque at the beginning. So my passion was all these great instrumentalists, all these great musicians that you hear very little about. Maybe in the states you hear more, mm -hmm. but in Spain is something like very complicated, you know? 
and I and I thought it was a shame because I mean, there's so much money invested into samba, and uh, which nothing against it, you know. I mean, samba and carnival around the world, but they have a treasure. I think that Brazil has a treasure in their instruments. I really think that there's the quality of the of the musicians in Brazil is very very high. Yeah. Muito so obrigado. What we wanted is to spread out as much as possible. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs>